friends, Nibs again, <clears throat> out in the garage tonight doing a little bit of goofing around, and uh, I've got some really, really cool stuff to show you tonight. Um, this is uh, some loaners that are uh, new into the garage for tonight, into the for the channel to take a look at, <clears throat> and I think this is really going to be pretty awesome. Um, these are uh, actually some very rare <laughs> BB guns that... Uh, Actually, the same fellow that I had the Slavia and the Daisy <clears throat> uh, 1894, and I got the Han Super BB repeater from him, and uh, these are ones that he brought in for me to to uh, also review and take a look at. Um, he said they both work, so I don't think I'm going to have to do any work to them, but uh, actually there's three things here. <clears throat> Let's start out with the one I have no idea about. So this is a Daisy, it just says Daisy Manufacturing Company, Plymouth, Michigan, USA, and it has a patent number on there, but there's absolutely nothing else marked on here, but it is, he, he said he thought it was to shoot corks. Um, I don't have any corks, but I thought maybe I could shoot something out of it. <laughs> I actually have some... Uh, little marshmallows, some mini marshmallows, and uh, we'll go ahead and see. Uh... <laughs> it worked. I don't know if I'd be able to actually hit anything with it. There's no sights on it. If anybody has any ideas on what this thing actually is or what the model number might be, I don't find anything about it in the uh, blue book of gun values, but I think it's supposed to shoot corks out the end but there you go that let you get that one out of the way that one's weird and uh, unusual but uh, I thought it'd be fun to play with anyway but these other two are really awesome and really nice so the first one is a Daisy model 107 Buck Jones special you see that there on the side it looks a lot like a Model 25, but it is completely different uh, mechanism than the 105. Um, and this is the original gun that actually, uh, I think they got the idea for the Red Rider on A Christmas Story. But this is the one that originally came with the, the working compass in the stock, and it does work. And uh, it has a sundial in the compass there too so um, he said both of these actually worked these other BB guns so let's throw some BBs in here and we'll see if uh, I didn't bring my downrange camera out for tonight but uh, you guys will be able to hear me hit the can it's three I dropped one four five so that should be enough to test so this one Hit the can. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> so these were made, from what I can tell, from between 1934 and 1942. Oh yeah. I think it was a little, needed a little bit of working in here, but it's actually putting them out first couple didn't penetrate the can but those last I think that was the last one yeah the last the last couple penetrated the can no problem so I think it just needed a little bit of exercise so so this is just to bring home I'm gonna do a full review and revi uh, review and testing on all of these later on this is the one that I probably should be wearing white gloves holding on to this thing but this is just an amazing amazing piece uh, this is made by a company called Helprin Heilprin uh, and this is a Colombian model E and this is super rare according to the blue book of gun values uh, there's only about 50 of these known to exist so <laughs> we really want to take care and 
I hope my house doesn't burn down while I'm in possession of it because I uh, don't have insurance to cover that. So, but let's go ahead and uh, and these were made uh, f between 1912 and 1920. And uh, so there's actually a, so the loading port is right here and there's just a little metal sleeve that you slide down around here. Very much, it looks like the action's very much like a daisy as far as the cocking and stuff goes. There is a little safety lever right here on the back that you have to depress to actually get the thing to shoot though. <laughs> but it shoots. It's kind of awkward to press that, uh, that button in, at least for my big old hands, but. Shooting with some pretty good power. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, this is, this is super rare, and I really appreciate uh, my friend from the gun store bringing it in to let me uh, take a look at it and review it and show you guys. There's the other side. Uh, we can see the Heilprin. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Heilprin uh, company name on there. But yeah, the, according to the Blue Book of Gun Values, very limited uh, and, and worth a lot of money. But she's shooting good. I'm going to take it real easy on it, but... Uh, Oop, there's that one. I think I'm out. But anyway, there you go. I'm going to wrap this up real quick. Just a quick bring home video for you guys. I'll do a, a more deep dive and do a little more research on the history for both of them. Do an individual video on each one uh, coming up here in the near future. But I thought you guys would really like to look at it. If you've got any, if anybody knows anything about this little tiny cork gun, let me know down below or if you want to let me know in an email my email is down in the description of this video as well but uh, anyway there you go uh, some excellent new uh, additions to the channel it, even if only for a brief time but I was I'm really appreciative to uh, be able to even just take a look at them for a little while so anyway hope you like the video till next time have a great day